Hi Year 7s, I'm now going to show you how to make an orthogonal drawing of a little toy car, just like this one here. Okay, but we're going to simplify it down even more. What I need you to do is rule a line two centimetres from the bottom of the page, just like this, and very carefully rule a line across the page. Then about four centimetres from the left hand side of the page, you can use your ruler width if that's easier. Rule another line. This L shape is the guidelines that we will use to line up our views. Now we're going to start with the front view of the car. I'm going to start with the main body of the car, this section here. So that doesn't sit right on the ground, I'm, it just sits a little bit up. And I'm going to make the car width six centimetres wide. And the height of the body of the car is going to be three centimetres. So I rule that across. I'm going to rule it all the way across actually because that gives me construction lines for my right hand view and then finish off this front little bonnet part of the car. Now I'm going to do the windscreen. Now I'm just going to pretend like that goes straight up. I'm going to go up two and a half centimetres or maybe even just two centimetres actually and we'll align straight across. Now, when I'm looking straight at this car from the front view, I would actually just see two little rectangles where the wheels would be. So I'm going to make my wheels one centimetre wide. And just pop them in like this. That's all I would see of the wheels if I was looking straight at the car. I'm now going to add in this little grill section. And you could add any details that you like in there, depending on what sort of car you'd want this to be. And using my circle template, which I have here, I'm going to rule in some headlights. I might actually even draw in the windscreen. Okay, now the right hand view needs to be neatly placed directly beside the front view. So I am going to rule a construction line across from the top. That tells me the right height and I'm going to rule across and make my views two centimetres apart from each other. So I'm just going to rule a little light guideline like that. Now the front of the car looks like that. I'm going to make my car 80 mil long. Now my bonnet will come in 30 millimetres and there's like a little 5 mil indentation at the back. I'm going to draw the body of the car and I might actually even draw a little windscreen in there too, just for fun. Okay, now I want to put some wheels in here. 
I'm going to use this circle template and choose a circle that makes sense. My wheels need to sit on the baseline like that. Then I'm going to choose a slightly larger circle just to do a little outline around that. I'm going to get my rubber and I'm going to rub out where the body of the car went through the wheels. Just like that. So I've done my front view and my right view. Now I need to do the top view. And the way I do that is I, from the edge of the car, I will a vertical line and that's my construction line. Show me where to place my front view. And I'm going to place this exactly two centimeters or 20 mil away from the front view. And I will a line going across. Now I need to use the measurements on the side view for the top view. So I can see there's 30 mil for a bonnet. So I measure 30. 30, all the line going across. Now this top part of the car is 45 mil. And the back of the car goes out half a centimeter. Like that. Now I'm going to draw in two lines on the top of the bonnet, like that, because that kind of looks like it's got two little lines there. And then I might add some other details, such as um, details on the wheels. Um, and then what we can do is use our rubber rub out everything that we don't need. So we can rub out these guidelines and we can rub out the construction lines. So we're just left with the different views of the car. Then you can actually go over a little bit harder or use a fine liner over everything that is remaining on the page. I like to go over my outlines a little bit darker once I've actually made sure that they're right. Okay. When you've done that to all of your views, you can then label your views. Just rule two little really light guidelines underneath each view. They should be five mil apart and that helps us write our labels. Labeling orthogonal drawing you need to actually use capital letters and block writing. So this is the top view. Use your neatest writing. Front view and you could write side view or right view here. I don't mind. If you could then use a circle template or you can hand draw your circles if you don't have a circle template, we're going to draw the third angle projection symbol. So rule a circle, then rule another circle inside of that circle. Do a short line and then a longer line. We're actually making like a cut off triangle. You would have done this in your PowerPoint presentation already anyway. Okay, now we need to add the lines and they're a bit tricky. What you need to do is do a long line, a little short line in the middle of the circle, a long line to the center of the triangle thing, a little short line and another long line. And then we do the same thing, making a target in the center of the circle. If you just that's how it should look just there. Okay, now this is your orthogonal drawing. 
you can add color to it you can add any other details you could put a surfboard on top of it if you wanted to and then you can upload a photo of that onto your powerpoint presentation so that we can assess it well done guys